Okay, wait! Mom, can you help me prepare my school supplies? Okay, coming! I know, hang on! Coming! Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you something that most of you can relate. So right now, I have already um, I have already washed my face. So I just um, finished taking a bath. So walang wala ako kahit ano sa face ko right now. So if you are a mom and you know that you have a lot of things to do. I understand, I perfectly understand that you don't have the luxury of time to prepare your skin, your face, and to do makeup. So, um, what I can suggest for you guys is to use something na wouldn't require a lot of time for you to, to do. So, if you find um, using foundation sa face, Time consuming well what I can suggest is for you to use facial cream so in my previous video I used there the IY Korea facial cream um, this one so now naman what I can suggest is for you to use the Bello Sun Expert perfecting shield tinted sunscreen kasi ito um, sunscreen na siya at the same time pwede pa siyang maging um, what do you call that? Uh, primer so ito yung gagamitin ko today para dun sa times na kailangan mo talaga ng, ng time to do something else sa bahay so ito sobrang easy lang niyang gawin you can use your fingertips to um, put it on your face so, mabilis lang siya i-mix. I mean, mabilis lang siyang i-blend. Ito talaga yung amoy cream silk. Eh. Yung conditioner na cream silk. But still, I love the smell. I like it. Kahit na ganun. Hindi naman kasi siya bothering. So, yan. If you guys watched my 5 minute makeup challenge, pwede rin yun. Kasi, 5 minutes lang, um, mapiprepare mo na yung face mo before you go out. Or even if you are just staying at home, 5 minutes, okay na. Mapiprepare mo na yung face mo. Okay, so nilagyan ko rin yung neck and sa under eye na lang ako. So if you notice, konti lang yung nilagay ko and then sandaling time lang yung nagamit ko and okay na. So there you go. Okay na ako dyan. Um, my face looks presentable kahit nasa bahay ako, kahit mag-grocery ako, kahit manonood ako ng sine, um, okay na tong ganyan. But of course, um, most of you won't be able to go out of the house ng hindi nakaayos ang eyebrows. Which also goes for myself. Um, hindi ko rin kayang lumabas ng hindi nakaayos yung eyebrows. So, what I'm going to do is um, define my brows. 
So, same thing. And then sa other side. Okay, and then, um, Iba brush off ko lang yung excess product. Ayan. So, okay na ako. Okay na ako sa brows. So, kung gusto niyo maglagay ng something sa um, sa cheeks, pwede naman yung mga um, lip and cheek tint kasi madali silang i-apply. Or, pwede rin naman na yung mga powder blush. Um, like this one, powder blush siya. So, it's a palette. Malami na siyang shade ng, ng powder blush that you can choose from. But since, um, for me, I find the powder blush um, a little bit complicated, lalo na um, if you have um, limited time. So, katulad nga noon, pag marami kang household chores, kapag marami kang kailangan gawin for the family, hindi mo na, uh, you won't be able to find time to do the blush on, I mean, to do, um, to use powder blush, kasi nga, medyo complicated siya. That is just for me. So, now, what I'm going to use is my Peripara Airy Ink Velvet. So, ito yung nagamitin ko for my cheeks. So, lalagay ko lang siya dito. And then, saka ako kukuha ng product. Pat-pat ko lang siya. And then, sa other side. And then, konti sa chin. Okay. Tapos yung natira ko, pwede mo rin ilagay sa lips. So, I think um, this look will already be um, good for an everyday look kahit na nasa bahay ka or kahit mag-grocery ka or manonood kayo ng sine with your husband, with your family. Um... I think this will pull it off. This look will really pull it off. So, presentable, hindi mukhang lotion, hindi mukhang nagpabaya sa sarili na mother. Right? So, yan. Okay, so this time, um, what I'm going to show you naman is from being a simple um, mom with a very plain and simple makeup kasi nasa bahay lang naman, doing some household chores, or you just need to go out to with your family to probably um, go to a mall, shop, eat out, watch a movie. So, yung kanina kong pinakitang makeup look, yun yung pwede nyong isuot. Kasi nga, time constraint. Your time is very limited. Now, what I'm going to show you is kung marami ka namang time. Okay? So, ito naman yung... You have the luxury of time to do anything you want as far as makeup is concerned. Para sa mga girls, sa mga mother na hindi masyadong busy. Okay? So, um, for my foundation, what I'm going to use is my, syempre, kailangan nating medyo bongga compared to the previous one earlier. Yung pang, um, construction na. Anyway, so let's get started. So since gusto ko tong gawing mas bongga compared to the other one earlier, for my um, 
for my primer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So, um, kailangan ko na talagang maubos tong mga to para makabili na ako ng bago. Kaya lang, medyo marami pa talaga sila. Um, siguro ito may 20% pa. Tapos yung Quick Effects ko, siguro same thing. Mga 20% pa din. Kaya, yan. Okay, so, lalagay ko lang siya sa buong face ko. But I would focus more on the parts na alam kong may pores ako. Like here, sa forehead. Here. And sa chin. And sa sides din ng nose. Alright, so now what I'm going to use for my foundation is my MAC. Um, Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and I am in the shade NC15. So, NC15 ang ginagamit ko pag sa MAC kasi nga um, mag-oxidize siya sa akin. So, iitim pa siya. Unlike pag yung color ko na yung ginamit ko, pag kumitim siya so, magiging itim yung mukha ko. So, iitim yung face ko. Kaya, always two shades lighter ang kinukuha kong um, shade. So, I'm planning to mix this with um, something that is light and um, What do you call that? Luminous type. So, ito yung binili ko sa Miniso. This is the BB Dropper Liquid Foundation. Ito yung binili ko sa Miniso. Hindi ko alam kung BB, BB cream ba to. Pero kasi hindi naman siya creamy. So, liquid di siya masyado. So, paano siya naging BB? Or hindi ko alam kung what the BB letters stand for. So, yan. So, dropper siya. Yan. So, i-mix ko lang siya. Then sa map two, three. So three drops lang yung nilagay ko, and I'll be mixing it with the with the Mac foundation. Tapos I'll, I'm going to use a damp sponge. Ah, uh, medyo mat kasi yung Mac, so kaya ko siya hinaluan ng something luminous. Yung finish kasi ng BB dropper na yon from Miniso is luminous. Kaya, most of the time, hinahalo ko siya sa mga matte ko na foundation. So, I'm already applying it sa right side of my face. As you guys know, mag-oxidize pa yan sa akin. You will see later on. As we go along, makikita niya dito sa video na um, nawawala yung pagka maputi niya kasi nag-oxidize siya sa akin. Kaya imagine, kapag hindi, kapag color ko agad, or shade ko agad yung nilagay ko, iitim siya sa akin after a few minutes. So, magiging mukhang maitim yung face ko, tapos hindi naman maitim yung body ko. Yun yung mahira pag acidic. But anyway, What I'm going to do next is I'll be putting my concealer. I'm using the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer. This one. <clears throat> and I am in the shade Light Ivory. Ito rin yata yung lightest shade ng concealer ng Mary Kay. Not sure. Yun. So, Maganda rin yung coverage nito. Medyo makapal lang yung consistency niya. Na may times na mahirap siyang i-blend. Pero, yun nga, maganda yung consistency. 
so I'm still going to use my um, my damp sponge. So, ang gusto kong gawing makeup look ngayon is yung medyo bronzy na peachy. I've always wanted to try that um, makeup look. Kaso kasi, wala akong peach, wala akong peachy um, eyeshadow sa mga eyeshadow palette ko. Ayoko naman bumili just for that. Yun. Tapos, another tip na, na masasabi ko, when you are putting your um, concealer, make sure na hanggang dito mo siya ilalagay. Kasi, if not, pag sa pictures, para kang may line dito, kapag dito mo lang nilagay. So, that's why I make it a point na pa letter V or triangle yung paglalagay ko ng concealer under eyes. Para hindi siya isang malaking line sa pictures. Okay, so now I'm done. I'll be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, 16 hour powder to set my foundation. So, uunahin ko yung dito sa eye sa under eye kasi magkikake yan pag hindi nalagyan agad ng powder. Itong powder na to, sobrang ganda ng finish nito. Lalo na pag ginamit mo siya pang set as in, ang ganda-ganda ng finish nito. Lalo na if you will spray, if you will use a facial spray afterwards. Yung ganda niya sa face, makikita talaga. So, pati yung neck, para magpantay. Okay. So, I'm set. Now, I'm going to do my brows. So, I'm going to use my ColourPop um, banging brunette. This is the brow color, and I'm using my angled brush. Sabi ko nga, um, bonggang mommy look. So, same thing, mag start din sa bottom. Susundan nyo lang yung shape ng eyebrows. And the next one, yung sa topmost. Para naka-outline na siya. And then, fill in. So, same thing. Kahit, kahit ganito yung gagamitin, kahit gel, kahit eyebrow pencil, same procedure yung gagamitin. That's just for me. It's working for me. That's why I'm sharing it with you. Kasi it might also work for you. Um, nung binili ko to, may color yung hair ko. Kaya medyo brown, light brown siya sa akin. Kasi may color yung buho ko dati. I think I'm okay with that. So, sa other side. So, yan. Yan na yung medyo brown siya. Siguro, um, I may need to to add some more color sa eyebrows kasi medyo nalalaitan ako tignan. Siguro lalagyan ko lang ng powder. Um, from my Maybelline 
from my Maybelline Fashion Brow Duo Shaper. So, yung powder nito, papatuhan ko lang siya. Para mabawasan yung pagkalait niya. Para mag-darken lang ng konti. Yan, di ba? Nag-darken na siya ng konti. Ayoko talaga nung light brows. Lalo na kung yung hair ko naman is dark. Ayoko nung light. Ayan. So, nag-dark na ng konti yung brows ko. And I think I'm happy with this. Yeah. So what I'm going to do next is um ano gagawin natin? Um contour. So I'll be using my NYX matte bronzer. So magbo-bronzer ako and ito na din yung gagamitin ko pang contour kasi hindi naman talaga ako nagko-contour. So bronzer na lang. Same thing. Pwede mo naman din tong, Ito yung ano niya. Ito yung shade niya. So, pwede mo nang... Pwede na rin tong contour for, for me. Mababalik na nito yung warm sa face ko. So, sa forehead, sa may uh, hairline, sa jawline. Okay, so next, um, magkocontour ako ng nose. So, I'm using my MAC. Um, powder blush. This is in Harmony Matte. So, ito yung ginagamit kong pang contour ng nose. Okay na ako dyan. Ayoko nang masyadong obvious yung um, contour sa nose. On. So, since I'd like to pull off um, a peachy look, a tan peachy look, I'm using this City Color Rosy Cheeks. So, ito siya. This is in the shade Fall Sunflower. So, ito yung shade niya. Ito yung itsura niya. Um, the camera is not picking up the, the the pigment or the color, pero ayan siya. Ang ganda ng pagkakapitch nito. So, I'm putting it on top of the contour. Yan. So, as you can see, hindi na ganun kaputi yung face ko. Nagmatch na siya sa skin tone ko. So, ito na yung skin tone ko after a couple of minutes. Yan na talaga yung skin tone ko. Next would be, ito yung isa sa panga. Ito yung isa sa pinakamatagal gawin for me. Um, yung eyeshadow. Ito yung matagal. So, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Fix 
um, setting spray. So this one. So I spray ako dito sa eyeshadow brush ko para makuha niya talaga yung color. Yan. So ano kaya magandang look na yan. Gusto ko ng bongga na pwede naman siyang daytime, pwede rin siyang nighttime. So mag um, transition color muna tayo. So, yan. So, the color that I'm going to, to use next would be, hmm, ano kayang color? Ito medyo gold bronze. Then other side. So with a clean brush, I blend ko lang siya para walang harsh lines. That's another thing na ma, na ma bibigay ka rin as a tip when it comes to eyeshadow. Blend really, really well. Kasi kapag hindi, yung harsh lines, kahit maganda yung eyeshadow na ginamit mo, kahit maganda yung color combination na ginamit mo, pero kung hindi mo siya na-blend ng mabuti, kitang-kita siya, lalo na pag sa camera and you're not using any filter, which I always do. So, pag hindi ko nabiblend masyado yung eyeshadow, kitang-kita ko. Kaya, I always do this. So, para blend na blend siya. Yun yung iniiwasan natin when it comes to eyeshadows. Pero gusto ko munang gumamit ng, um, eyeliner So, nakapaglagay na ako ng eyeliner. So, since gusto ko maging bongga yung look na to for the moms out there, um, magpo-pause eyelashes ako. I'll get back to you afterwards. Okay, so I'm back. I have already um, put on my false eyelashes. So, sobrang bonggacious na siya pag nagyan mo pa talaga ng dramatic eyelashes. So, this is my final makeup look for the bonggacious mommy makeup look all right there you go thank you so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in my next one have a good one happy independence day bye
Thank you.